Hey everybody, welcome back. As those of you know who have been watching my channel for any period of time, I've been looking for a transparent filament for a couple of projects I have in mind. And I started out with these two. I've got an open roll of this someplace. This is natural clear PLA. And this one is the old Pearl Series Starship White from the now departed Maker Geeks. And um, yeah, these both, either of these will probably do work for my... Um, for my project that's going to stay inside, but for the one that's going to go outdoors, PLA just doesn't really work that well outdoors in Arizona. The summer sun just turns it into um, into something, it softens it to a great degree, maybe is the best way to put it. So I could do it with the bridge nylon. The bridge nylon would probably work fine for this, but the stuff is pricey and I think I'm going to want to print more than one. So my next try was the Gizmo Dorks Polycarbonate, but again, if you've watched this channel, you've known how many failures I've had with this stuff. I haven't given up on it completely, but I need to get this project in gear, so it's going to go on a back burner for now. So that brings us to 3D Solutec Printer Filaments Natural Clear ABS. Since I have enclosed the Ender 3, I have gotten some pretty darn good ABS prints. So this stuff is dirt cheap and I'm, I'm gonna hope it prints really well. I hope it prints as well as my my black ABS does in the enclosed Ender 3 and maybe this can get my project back in gear. So let's stop talking and let's get printing. I've got some little test prints to do. I'm not gonna try and do one of my big projects today. That's a video for another time. But let's get this filament tested. Let's see if it'll do what I want to do and we'll go from there in another video. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I've done a little bit of printing. Again, this is the 3D Solutec Natural Clear ABS. And if I didn't mention it before, I bought this filament with my own money. I was not approached by 3D Solutec or anybody else to do this review. This is all just me trying to find the filament that will do what I wanted to do. Also, most of this, unless I otherwise specified, I have printed with my pretty much standard ABS Cura profile, which, in order to speed the whole process up, is 0.32 layer height. So, um, yeah, it's going to look a little rough, but you know what? That's life when you're trying to do things quickly. So the first thing I printed is this itsy-bitsy little tiny cube. Don't ask me why I printed such a little tiny cube. I didn't know it was so tiny when I did it. There's supposed to be a hollow in the center, but it's a tiny. I can't tell whether it's there or not. Next thing I printed was this dice. There is supposed to be a skull in here, but um, again, let me get my flashlight, see if we can shine a little light in it. Uh, it's just going to wash the camera out. <laughs> that's just, that's hopeless. If there's a skull in there, I can only get tiny little glimpses of it. So, next thing, I printed a Benchy. Why not? Because, you know, when you're testing stuff out, Benchy is pretty much what you print. And as you can see, this Benchy turned out pretty good. I got no real complaints. You can see right through to the infill, which tells me it probably has the opacity level that I'm looking for. And, um, printed real nice. Got no real complaints about that Benchy. Looks good. Next thing I printed was the classic rocket in vase mode. And as you can see, my rocket printed really nicely. And let's see if I can get the flashlight out here. I've got, this has a one tiny three millimeter LED. Let's turn it on. You can see it shows clearly through all the parts of it. And um, again, has just about the exact opacity that I'm looking for. And my my rocket printed really nice. Now, this rocket was not in 0.32 layer height. It was in 0.20 layer height. So it does look a little bit finer. And I printed it with a brim and in vase mode. So, really nice. I like that rocket. That rocket turned out really good. That one may be a keeper. Like I need another 20. Like I need my 27th rocket, right? Now, the next thing I printed was this. This is like a one-fifth, and I don't know, I don't know how well you can see that. Um, you can see I've got some little raised circles here and like a raised square 
geometric design there. And what this is, this is one of the things I'm about to clear filament for. This is going to make one of these. This is a taillight lens off my beater old Jeep CJ7. And um, I'd like to put red and white LED lights in it. And I'd just like to have a standard see-through, you know, transparent, not completely see-through taillight lens to go over top of it. I don't like any of the ones on the market. I've seen some of them. They look like they belong on a jukebox from the 1970s. They just don't fit my old beater CJ7. Something a little plainer is more my style. So that's where this comes in. And um, again, this is scaled down. So um, it is not. But I think, you know, I think that's going to work. I think that's going to do what I want it to do. So that's the three. That's my review of the 3D Solutec Clear ABS filament. It prints really, really nicely as you would expect any ABS inside an enclosed printer to do. I'm very pleased with it. I'll put a link to it below. And in my next video, I'm going to, maybe not my next one, but in one of my next videos, I'm going to move on with the actual printing of that full-size taillight lens. And we'll get it out on the Jeep and we'll see how it looks. So, thank you all for watching this. Hope I've provided you with something of value. If I did, please hit notifications, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys the next time. Bye for now.